you're going to take this block or any kind of surface to where you can be a little bit inverted. So what I want is my knees and hips to be up from my head, mostly your hips. So forearms down. Think about trying to have a neutral spine. So if you're really, really rounded, you could come up to your hands. So I want my tailbone to be sticking out. I want a little bit of a lumbar curve and I want to relax my pelvic floor. So now you're getting a little bit more bang for your buck. You're gonna think relax and open the back of the pelvic floor. The sit bones separate on that inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna actively pull that bottom rib cage up and look at nothing happens to my spine here when I pull that rib cage up. So we're not rounding, we're just engaging. Feeling that rib cage lift from the muscular engagement. Again, I'm pulling my elbows back. That helps me to get that chest forward. So it's like you're pulling the chest <clears throat> apart <clears throat> from the lower rib cage. You're holding that rib cage down. You're lifting those upper ribs <clears throat> and upper chest. So it's a nice posterior pelvic floor stretch as well. 